Oh my god, Helen, I just heard. After all this time, you were finally blessed with a baby, and you go ahead and have a miscarriage. Huh. Is it true? Having a miscarriage at your age? That's pathetic. I bet you'll never get another chance. That just proves you can't do anything right, can you? Oh, you're worthless. <sighs> I figured you'd have a snide comment to make about it. I knew it was only a matter of time before you messaged me. Do you have any idea what I'm going through right now? The last thing I need is harassment from you. What's this? You're the one who had a miscarriage, and now you're acting like you're the victim. You're not the victim. It was. This proves you're a worthless woman and an even more worthless wife. It wouldn't surprise me if your husband left you because of this. I mean, is there any reason for a barren woman to even exist? You can find a woman better than you just by opening the front door. Worthless. Huh. How can you say something like that to me at a time like this? Do you have any idea how much I wanted this child? We were trying for so long to conceive, and I was so happy that we were finally going to have a baby. I did everything I possibly could for this child. Yeah, I heard about all that. I heard that's the excuse you use to get out of doing the housework, isn't it? You should be more like your brother. He does all the housework for me, no matter what it is. He's a good husband to me, because he knows I'm a good wife, and I'm worth it. You don't do anything for anyone. I do do the housework for my husband. It had nothing to do with me not wanting to do it. The doctor told me I needed to take things easy once I was pregnant, as it was high risk. That's the only reason I got my husband to help me out more around the house. Yeah, right. Well, tell me this. If the doctor told you to take it easy and you did, then why did you have a miscarriage? Haha. <laughs> you did absolutely nothing around the house. You were a lazy slob for most of your pregnancy and still couldn't give birth to a healthy baby. So what the heck are you going to blame this on now? That's exactly what I can't stop thinking about right now. I did everything I was supposed to. I did everything the doctor suggested. So why did this happen to me? Why weren't we blessed with a baby? What are we supposed to do now? Yeah, it must be pretty tough to realize you're not a woman. You can't even do the one thing that sets us apart from men, can you? And I know you were just trying to get me to feel bad for you there, but it isn't going to work. What happened to you is your fault. I've got no sympathy for you. Children are supposed to be what a family is blessed with, but it seems even the Lord himself doesn't want to bless you with a gift like that. I think it's because you're a wicked woman who sits at home doing nothing all day and you don't even contribute to your family. I think this might be karma, don't you? What? I'm wicked? Just because I didn't do the housework for a few months while I was pregnant? Why do you even care about that? You're not my husband. Because I think there is more to it than that. Tell me the truth. Were you doing a little too much activity during your pregnancy? What? You just accused me of doing nothing. I mean, you were fooling around with another man, weren't you? Ha <laughs> ha. I bet that's why you were too tired to do the housework for your husband. Isn't that right? 
And maybe why it put too much stress on the baby. What are you even talking about? Where did you even get an idea like that? I can't believe you would even say that to me. Let alone at a time like this. You're horrible. Oh, really? You're not fooling me. I think that innocent and pure act you put on is all fake. I think in reality you're the exact opposite. I bet you wouldn't hesitate to cheat on your man the instant his back is turned. You might be able to fool your husband and even your brother, but you're not fooling me. Where did this come from all of a sudden? I can't believe this. Just stop with this nonsense right now. Just leave me and my husband alone. It's too bad you can't have a kid. My kid is really adorable and everyone loves her. I guess I kind of do feel bad for you. You'll never be able to have a cute child like mine, haha. -ha. My niece is really cute. She's adorable. I agree with that fact. But you don't have to say it to me like that. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. It just slipped out. I guess it was pretty insensitive of me to say that to you. To a woman who isn't capable of giving birth to her own children. Don't you have anything better to do today than torment me? I've got work to do. Goodbye. You've got work? This fast after having a miscarriage? Wow, you must be really broke. I, on the other hand, am going out to a high-end restaurant tonight. It seems our standards of living is quite different from each other's, huh? Oh, is that so? And after dinner, I'm going out drinking and dancing. It's gonna be great. It's hard being a mom like me. I'm just so busy all the time. That's why I've got to go out and have some time to relax. Now that you're not pregnant anymore, you can drink again, can't you? I suggest you go out and have some drinks sometime too. But not with me, ha ha ha. I'm surprised you have any friends at all. And I don't need you worrying about me. Hey, Helen, is Angelique there with you? Tell her if she's not going to come home for the night, she should at least message me so I know she's okay. You can tell her that for me, right? She's not answering my text. Hi, Mario. What are you talking about? What do you mean Angelique didn't come home for the night? Huh? She told me she's going to go spend the night at your house. Are you saying she didn't? What? She was never going to spend the night here. The only contact I had with her yesterday was her sending me a bunch of horrible text messages. Why would I let her spend the night here? After what she said to me yesterday, you must be out of your mind. I thought she was with you last night. What? No. And she did what? I thought you and her were good friends. She's been hanging out with you a lot recently. At least, that's what she's been telling me. What? With me? Why would you think just because I'm your sister? You think I get along with your wife? She's the meanest person I know. I hate her. If you want to know what I think, I can't believe you married her in the first place. Hold on a second. What are you talking about? I thought you two were getting along well. I thought you'd become good friends or something. Me and Angelique? Getting along? Huh. She texts me every now and then, but it's never anything nice. I think she hates me more than I hate her. You obviously have no idea what she said to me yesterday, do you? 
You guys hate each other that much. Are you being serious? Are you saying she wasn't texting you to get to know you better? I thought you two became friends. No, not even close. Yesterday, she was making fun of me for having a miscarriage. I can't believe anyone would be that insensitive and make fun of someone's baby dying. She did what? I don't want to talk about it now. And if she was stupid enough to say she was with me last night, then where the heck was she? I have no idea. That's what I want to know. She's done this a few times. She said she was going out drinking or dancing with you and was going to stay at your house for the night. I just figured that's what she was doing, so I didn't press her for any more details or anything. But she hasn't messaged me at all since she left yesterday. Not even this morning. What's going on? Do you think something happened? Ah, uh, hold on. I think she just pulled in the driveway. Really? Well, she's fine then, I guess. There's no need to worry. Make sure you talk to her and see what's going on, though. Because she wasn't here. You can bet I'm going to have a little chat with her. Sorry for bringing you into this. I didn't mean to bother you. Don't worry about it. I just hope everything's okay. I forgot to ask you. What was up with that face you made before you stormed out yesterday? Was it something to do with the fact that you made a fool of yourself in front of your family? Your face is so red. You look like a tomato. Haha. <laughs> I wish I could have got a picture. Wait. Was it embarrassment or was it anger? Haha. <laughs> I can't believe you made fun of my miscarriage in front of my whole family. I'll never forgive you for that. And don't think for a second that anyone else thought what you said was funny. I don't care what they think. It's time they stop treating you like the baby and realize just how worthless a person you really are. I think I proved my point. You were so embarrassed and angry that you couldn't even think of a comeback to say. You're pathetic. I'm pathetic? Yeah, and you're too weak and cowardly to even stand up for yourself. Haha. <laughs> I'm too weak and cowardly. I've heard about as much as I can stand of you. I've been biting my tongue this whole time simply because you're my brother's wife. But if you think I'm going to sit here and let you treat me like this any longer, you're sadly mistaken. Oh, yeah? And what are you going to do about it? If you got something to say to me, then just come out and say it. Let's hear it. I've got nothing but time. I'm sitting here getting a pedicure right now. For a stay-at-home mom, you hardly ever seem to be at home with your daughter. You're always busy doing something, aren't you? Yeah, but I still make time for that little family reunion your side had. Stop complaining. Your family should be thankful I graced them with my presence. I should have just made an excuse and not have wasted my time. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be. What do you mean by that? I thought they got the family all together so you could get down on your knees and apologize to everyone for having that miscarriage. You got all their hopes up and expectations up and then you just crushed them by not blessing your family with a child. You're worthless. And I thought they'd make you apologize for it. Listen here, you little witch. You better hope I never see your ugly face again. Haha, <laughs> what's this? If I ever get a hold of you, I'm going to crush that pretty little face of yours. If you think you can say whatever you want to me and get away with it, you've got another thing coming. 
You have no idea who you're messing with. And I swear to you, if I ever see you, I'm going to knock out all the teeth in your mouth. You're going to be sipping your meals through a straw. Huh? Who is this? Is this still you? Isn't it, Helen? It's been so long since I've kicked the snot out of a preppy little bitch like you. I can't wait for it. Tell me which salon you're at and we'll settle this right now. Don't even bother having them finish that pedicure of yours because I'm going to rip out all your toenails right after I knock out all your teeth. And after I do that, I'm going to make sure everyone knows your dirty little secret. If I were you, I'd run home and lock the doors. But soon, I don't think even my brother is going to try and stop me from getting you. Helen, this isn't like you at all. What's going on? I've never heard you talk like this. You're talking like some homeless street thug. Well, let's just say I've got quite the reputation around where I grew up. I've been in my fair share of fights in school, and I've put people twice your size in the hospital. I'm not scared of you one bit. Why do you think I never went to college? It was because I was expelled from every high school I ever went to. I had to get my high school diploma online because no school would let me enroll with them. I'm surprised my brother never mentioned any of that to you. I thought all those anger management classes were really helping me too. In fact, I know they were because I've been able to bite my tongue and not punch your lights out this whole time. But you not only crossed the line, you blew right past it. I'm coming for you. There's nowhere you can hide now. Wait, wait, wait. Just hold on. This isn't funny anymore. Stop messing around. Why are you so upset? I was just playing around. I didn't mean any of the things I said. You weren't serious about getting into fights and sending people to the hospital, were you? If you think I'm kidding, why don't you try me? And if you think I'm the only one looking for you right now, you're wrong. I've called some of my old friends. There's not a lot of places around town that do pedicures, so I'm sure we'll find you soon enough. I'm going to make you regret every little thing you ever said to me. Helen, please. Oh my gosh. Two rough looking girls just pulled up on a motorcycle. They're walking around my car right now. They're not going away. They're just standing out there by my car, waiting. Those can't be. They're not the friends you're talking about, are they? What are you thinking? Are you going to have them beat me up for you? No. I was going to have them hold you there until I can come there and take care of you myself. But they're not too happy with what you said either to me. So I suggest you don't do anything to make them mad, or they might not want to wait for me to show up. Actually, I think I have another idea. Now I know where you are, and that you can't run from me, I'm going to expose you for what you really are. You're going to wish you never mess with me. Helen, we're both adults. Let's not do anything rash. Violence never solves anything. And what do you mean you're going to expose me? I've never done anything to you in secret. I said that stuff about you in front of your whole family. I bet they probably hate me right now, huh? That's all the punishment I need, right? They'll never be nice to me again during any holiday or family get-together, right? There you go. I'm already exposed. Your whole family knows I said bad things about you. What more do you want? Tell me, who exactly are you getting this 
pedicure done for. Who were you planning on meeting tonight? I spoke to Mario today. You told him to watch his kid for the night while you go out with your friends, didn't you? But your friends aren't going to see your feet, are they? So who is this pedicure for? The last thing you need to worry about is how your feet look. You need to be more worried about what I might do to your face. Then again, this will probably work in your favor. After I mess your face up, you'll be sure to get that plastic surgery that you need so badly. What? That's just rude. I don't need any plastic surgery on my face. I'm always at beauty salons. I look damn good. Everyone says so. Stop avoiding the question. Where are you planning on going tonight? Who are these friends you say you have? I don't need to tell you. You wouldn't know them anyway. Do you think I'm stupid? You don't need to spend the night at a friend's house all the time just because you're going out drinking. Why don't you just get your husband to pick you up? I... It's because I don't want to bother him late at night. Plus, he'd have to wake up our daughter and bring her along when he comes to pick me up. You can't leave a young child home alone, can you? And I can't drink and drive, so that's why it's just easier if I spend the night at a friend's house. So what's the name of the friend whose house you're going to be staying at tonight? It doesn't matter. You wouldn't know them. So stop asking me all these stupid questions. Is it Andy Brandon, married, 30 years old, a software developer at Texel Solutions for the past five years, promoted to senior staff developer at the start of this year? Do I have that correct? Um, what the? How could you know all that? His wife, Gabriella Turner, 29 years old, and Andy and Gabriella have a three-year-old son together, don't they? I know everything you've been up to. What? You're a horrible person. How could you ever think of touching a married man with a family? Are you not ashamed of yourself? You're a married woman too. Hold on. What the heck is going on here? How could you know all that? One minute, you're a gangster, and the next minute, you're a detective? It didn't take much effort to find that information out. All I did was phone a private detective. Maybe you should have kept your head out of your phone and talked to people at our family get-togethers. If you had, you would have known that my uncle is a pretty darn good private detective, and his son is training to take over the business. All they had to do was tell you for one hour, and they knew everything. Ha ha. They said it was the easiest job they'd ever done. They couldn't believe how stupid and obvious you were. Your uncle's a what? Maybe if you hadn't told my brother that you were staying at my house before, you wouldn't have been caught. But saying you're going out drinking and spending the night with the person who hates your guts gives off quite a big red flag. Don't you think? You're such an idiot. You've been caught red-handed. I even called your little boyfriend over for a visit. What? When? Now. He's coming over now. What? My boyfriend is coming over to my house? Now? Not to your house. To my house. But don't worry. Your husband's gonna be here too. I came to my senses and realized if I rearranged your face, you'd have me done for assault. Or maybe worse, even a lawsuit. But telling your boyfriend that you're married and telling his wife that you've been sleeping with her husband? 
That puts those two against you. And by telling my brother you're cheating on him, that's a third person who will want your head. That leaves me free to sit back and watch the carnage unfold. So I don't have to worry about any consequences myself. That's cold. And I figured, if I'm not happy with the results from this for some reason, I still have the option of beating your face in afterwards. Oh my god. So let me get this straight. You're saying my husband knows about Andy and I? He'll know in just a few minutes when I tell him, and soon Andy's wife will too. Oh my god. Oh, I think Andy just pulled into the driveway. I hope he brought his wife with him. I know he was supposed to meet with you tonight. But when I told him I knew that he was cheating, he agreed to meet me right away. How about you come here too? No way! My friends are still waiting for you out front, aren't they? Um, yeah! So you can either drive here yourself, or I'll have them drag you here. It's your choice. I can't believe this is happening to me. What's going to happen to me now that everyone knows? I don't know, but I think it's going to start with you getting on your hands and knees, begging for everyone's forgiveness. Though I doubt you're going to get any from anyone. And then you can tell everyone the truth about what you've been doing. Or I can show everyone the video evidence my uncle collected. Again, it's your choice. I'm being pretty nice giving you all these choices, aren't I? Oh no! My phone is blowing up with text messages right now! Everyone's pretty mad at you right now. It wasn't my brother and I that hired my uncle to check up on you. It was just me. My brother is just finding out about you now, the same time Andy is. You really shouldn't have told Andy you were single. He had no idea you were married and had a kid too. This is great. I can't wait for you to get here and join the party. I can't believe this. Oh, and if you didn't know, my brother was quite the wild one too. Even worse than when we were younger. I hope he doesn't do anything to you when you get here. I'll give you two minutes to leave that place and start heading over here. Otherwise, I'm going to have my friend walk in there and drag you out, kicking and screaming. Don't do that. I'm coming. I'll head straight over to your place. So please, tell your friends not to hurt me. Hey, you started this fight. I'm just the one who's ending it. I'm sorry. I'll never do anything mean to you ever again. And I'm really sorry for your loss. I shouldn't have said those terrible things about you or your baby. It's too late for an apology. Your apology means nothing to me anyways. And by the way, my brother said he's divorcing you. He said what? Hold on. You've got to be kidding me. I cheated. I admit it. But there's no reason to divorce me. Ask him if there's any way he'll forgive me. Everyone deserves a second chance, right? A second chance. Are you talking about cheating on my brother? You treating me like garbage? Or are you making fun of me and my deceased child? Um, all three? You've been given too many chances already. Three strikes and you're out. Even if Mario didn't care about you cheating on him with Andy, he's not forgiving you for what you said to me. I showed him the messages you sent me. It's all over for you. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. What am I supposed to do now? I don't know what you're supposed to do, 
but I can tell you what's going to happen to you. You're going to get divorced and you're going to get sued for compensation money. Mario is suing you for cheating and it sounds to me like Andy's wife is planning on doing the same because I think you just broke up their marriage too. You better hope you don't have to pay Mario's child support on top of everything else you're going to be paying. What? Hold on a minute here. I don't have a job. I'm a stay-at-home mom. How does anyone expect me to pay for any of this? Get a job and work it off like everyone else in the world, idiot. And to think you were making fun of me before, huh? You're nothing without my brother. And because of this stunt, you're not going to get anything from him when he divorces you. And Annie's wife is going to chew you up and spit you out on court. They plan on suing you for every last cent they can. After that, Angelique rushed to Helen's house, half because she thought she might be able to get the situation diffused, and half because she was scared of making Helen or her friends angry. When she arrived, Angelique got down on her knees, trying to apologize to everyone for what she'd done. But no one was having any of it. Mario was firm with his decision to divorce Angelique. He even decided that he was taking full custody of their daughter. And Gabriella was firm with her decision to divorce Andy for cheating and to sue Angelique for compensation money for destroying her marriage. In the end, Angelique got nothing from Mario in the divorce. The compensation money she was forced to pay Mario for cheating on him negated anything she would have been entitled to. She was, however, forced to pay Gabriella a substantial amount of money for Gabriella's lawsuit against her. Seeing as Angelique had no money of her own, this devastated her. Because Angelique had no prior work experience, she could only get part-time jobs working in fast food places, which obviously didn't pay well. She's currently working day and night, trying to earn enough money to cover her cost of living, as well as to pay off Gabriella's lawsuit against her. And to think, all this started just because Angelique wanted to torment Helen.